Welcome back everyone, Johnny Keck once again, we're at AMP Futures. Uh, we're going to take you into this next video. We're going to show you how to activate market replay on the multicharts.net trading platform, exclusive platform with AMP Futures free of charge. Uh, so let's get right into it. Market replay, if you're not, uh, if you don't have an understanding of what market replay is, it's a great way if, you know, if you work a full-time day job, you just don't have the ability to stay in front of a computer screen eight hours during live market hours, especially during the cash market hours during the day, uh, simply because you are at work. It gives you the ability to go back to a specific date and replay the data uh, while you're at work. So that way you can see you know, what, what took place in terms of that day's worth of trading. You can see a chart. You can see those bars start to create uh, before your very eyes as you activate the market replay. So a very popular tool within multi-charts, and we're going to show you how to activate that in this video. All right, so the first step, you want to pull up a chart that you want to activate market replay for. So when I say chart, what symbol do you want to activate market replay for? So in this case, at the moment that you see on the screen, we have a June mini S&P contract chart. All right, so that's currently populated on the chart. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead at the bottom. Well, first thing, we're going to left click on the chart. One thing that's very important I want to point out, if you notice on the bottom panel here, these options are grayed out. I cannot select any of the options. I can't click. Um, as you can see, it's almost as a disabled function that does not allow me to click or activate or use any of those buttons. And that's because you have to left click on the chart to make sure to activate these buttons here. So now you can see those buttons become populated and now I have the ability to click on them. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is there's gonna be a little button right here on the bottom right corner of the chart. Uh, it's very small, almost looks like a little calendar icon with a drop down menu to the right of it. And if I left click on that icon, it brings up a calendar. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna identify is what date do you wanna play market replay for? All right, so let's just use a hypothetical example. Uh, let's just say April 4th. All right, so that would be a Monday. I'm going to left click on that date on the calendar. Now you can see that that date has been populated. And now the next question is, you know, what, what time do you want to start market replay from? So depending on what you have set on your, your chart, you know, most of the time for myself, I like setting the local time zone to reflect on the bottom of my chart. Uh, if you missed how to set that setting, I'll show you a quick demonstration. You're just going to right click on the chart. You're going to go to Format Instruments and just give it a few moments here. Uh, we're going to, you're going to see Format Instrument pop on the screen in about, uh, I probably say about five seconds or so. I do apologize. I have um, I'm rendering another video on the other on the other monitor, which you, you can't see at this moment. So it is kind of boggling down my computer just a bit. So I do apologize for that. But there's the format instrument display box. All right. So you're going to want to click on settings here, and at the bottom you're going to see an option that's going to show time zone. Once I click on the settings tab, uh, which you'll see that that change shortly here. All right. There it is, right there. All right. So you see time zone. It's actually set to exchange right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just change that to local. I'm in California. It's about seven o'clock p.m. here, California time. So you're going to see the chart, the bottom time zone here, update based on what my local time zone is here in California based on my, my clock time. All right, so now we're using the correct time zone based on my preference. Okay? Now you don't necessarily have to change it to local. It's just my preference. Now, going back, we're going to click on that calendar date again. Let's go to April 4th. And then now, what time do you want to start market replay from? So. For myself in California, typically markets, uh, you know, 6 o'clock in the morning is a good time. That's usually when the cash market opens. So I'm going to go into sit 06. All right, so that's 6 o'clock a.m. All right, now we have everything set. Now the next step is there's a button to the right of it, which almost looks like, an, again, a calendar icon, but this time there's a green play button. And if you hover your mouse cursor over that icon, you're going to see an option that says jump to time. So what you're telling the, the chart to do is to jump to April 4th, 6 o'clock in the morning if you hit that button. And then what's going to happen is keep your eye on the top left corner of the chart here, and you're going to see a playback display dialog populate once I click this jump to time button. All right, so now the chart, as you can see, has moved to 6 o'clock, April 4th, and you can see now that the playback has been activated. But however, it's not playing yet because I have not clicked the play button. So the steps that I've just demonstrated is what you have to do first to get in playback mode. Now, once you are at that point where the chart has gone back in time and pulled up the data beginning from 6 o'clock in the morning from April 4th, now the next step is hitting the green play button that you see here. And then once I left click on it, watch what happens. 
All right, so keep your eye on the last trade price. You'll probably see that ticker start to move. There you go. You can see it go to 66. And then a couple things I want to show you while at market replay is activated. So you can see candles are starting to, to build as the, the market replay starts to move forward. Now, if you notice here in the bottom right corner, there's a little slider. Now, if you move that slider to the left, that's going to slow down market replay. So it will slow down the pace of how much, uh, how fast or slow market replay is going to build on the chart itself. If you hover your mouse cursor, it will tell you, you know, for example, that's one update every four seconds. So if I scroll it back, that's one update, one update every nine seconds, one update every 10 seconds. All right, so that's the slowest it's going to go based on the slider moving all the way to the left. Now, let's say if I move the slider to the right, that's going to increase the speed. And you're going to notice, uh, you, you'll see it, it's going to be a very obvious display. Look, you notice the market replay is now moving at a rapid speed. So you can see that market replay is kicking in gear and it's moving very, very quickly now. All right, so this is one of the things that the customers like. They like having the ability to go back to a certain date and play that replay data for that day so they can see what took place on that specific date. And if you continue to have it played, it will play all the way from, from April 4th all the way until today's date. So you can see in the bottom there, the little time is starting to kick in. It's moving accordingly. We've already gone to April 5th. So we're now no longer in the April 4th session. And if you just let that thing play, it's going to keep going and going and going until you stop it. Now, if I hit the pause button here, that will temporarily pause the market replay. And then I can use the hit the play button once again to activate it. All right, so this button will allow you to pause and play. The slider here will allow you to move left and right. So if you move it to the left, that slows down market replay. If you move it to the right, it increases speed of market replay. All right, so and now if you want to go back to real-time data, you no longer want to be in replay mode. And the one thing you always want to look for on the top left corner of the chart, you always want to look for that playback. Because when it says playback, that means you're in playback mode. All right, so now if you want to terminate playback and go to real-time data and just go back to real-time charts, you want to then hit the blue play button to the right where it says ter terminate playback and go back to real-time. So it's, two, it's about three icons to the right of the green play button. It almost, it's a little, almost looks like a blue play button with a line in front of it. And the best thing is you always want to hover your mouse cursor over the icon to have an understanding of what that button is, just as you can see there. So terminate playback, go to real time. I'm going to click that button. And now you notice on the top left corner of the chart, the playback goes away. That's letting us know that the playback is disabled. And now we're back to real time data. And as you can see, um, based on this data window here, uh, we're currently on today's date. All right, so that's a quick way how to activate market replay. Now let me show you one, one additional step. A lot of times we get customers asking us, is it possible to activate market replay across multiple charts at the same exact time? And the answer to that question is yes. And what we want to do is we want to activate the global mode, which is what you see on the bottom right corner here. So let's do this. Let's, let's open up a few charts. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this chart here. Let me dis disable the chart trader panel so we have more display on the chart itself. Uh, let's pull up this chart here. Kind of move them side by side. Let's de disable the chart trader. I'm going to remove all the indicators for now just so we have a clean chart on both charts. So everything looks clean. And then we'll change the symbol since we're not trading April gold anymore. Let's change this to the uh, June mini NASDAQ. All right, so let's wait for that chart to load. And then now we have side by side. Currently, we have a June mini S&P chart, and we also have a June mini NASDAQ chart. And they're both for current data, which is today's date. All right, so now we're going to take the same exact steps of what we just did a moment ago to activate market replay. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom here. We're going to hit that little calendar icon with the drop down next to it. We're going to select a date. So this time we'll do, let's say, April 12th, which is about two weeks ago on a Tuesday. We'll start the market replay from 6 o'clock in the morning. All right, you know, you can see that's now set. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit jump the time. Same concept. All right, now what we're going to do here is I'm going to go in and just activate this for both here. All right, so playback's activated here. Let's activate it for the mini NASDAQ as well. So April 6th, and then we'll do uh, some 6 o'clock in the morning. Or better yet, we'll do uh, April 12th. All right, and we'll do from 6 o'clock in the morning. And then, then the next step is we're going to hit the jump to time. All right, it's activated, but now we're going to hit global mode here on the right side. So when I click the global mode, you can see now 
that both of those charts will sync up. And now you can see that the both of them are, are waiting for detailed data. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and hit the play button to activate the global mode. Okay, so now we have both activated. So we're waiting for that playback to activate on, on the both top left corner of each chart. You're looking for that playback to activate. And that's how you know that both of them is now ready to go. Now we're just going to hit the play button. And now let's speed it up just a bit just to show you that both of them is creating market replay. All right, and there you go. Now you can see the left chart is, uh, is playing replay data for the mini S&P. The chart on the right is playing replay data for the mini NASDAQ. And you can see that both of those charts are activated and market replay is active for both charts. So the global mode is going to allow you to activate market replay for any chart that you've activated market replay for. All right, so this is cool. Uh, this is a good, a nice function if, let's say, for example, you're looking at multiple time frames for a market. You know, you're trading mini S&P, you're interested in looking at a five-minute time frame, a 15-minute time frame, an hourly chart, daily chart, whatever the case may be. And then you want to be able to run market replay for multiple time frames at the same time. So that would be a useful function, which would be global mode, which allows you to activate market replay for multiple charts at the same time. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and just stop it. And remember, when you notice if this panel here is grayed out, then you have to make sure you click on the chart to activate these panels. Because otherwise, you know, if you're clicking around here and you don't have the ability to click any of these buttons, just be sure to click on any chart to activate those panels. Now I'm going to go ahead and click this button here, terminate playback, and go back to real time. All right, and since the global mode was activated, it automatically reverted both charts to real-time data. And now we're no longer in replay mode. You know that because on the top left corner of each chart, there's no playback display function. And that right there is a quick introduction to how to access market replay. And hopefully you're able to gain some information on how to do this from this particular video segment. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.